welcome to Tone Tools. I'm Afi Solomon Jorvan Herskovitz, and I'll be your guide to the music I make, the adventures I take, and the tools I use to get there. Let's head in the garage and see what's on the bench today. All right, today I'd like to share with you guys some incredible products from the Pelican Company out of Anytown, USA. Now this is something I discovered years ago. Um, as you know, I, I used to do a lot of traveling for work. Not anymore, but uh, back then I, I used to travel with a lot of equipment, a lot of expensive equipment. And uh, so I wanted to invest in the best possible production for that stuff. A lot of times, let's be honest, I'm a rock star. I'm not carrying my own guitars. And if you're gonna trust your equipment to uh, a baggage handler or a roadie at some festival in Bielefeld, Germany, you wanna ensure that the equipment is housed in a most appropriate sheathing. These guys make uh, a very robust and um, mobile case for transporting all of your delicate goods, be it your collection of USB sticks, uh, all the way up to, uh, you know, a motorcycle. But, um, but I use them mostly for my guitars and uh, for the other pieces of musical equipment that I travel around with, um, computers and things like that. Because, you know, I travel with a lot of computers. Anyway, um, let's get into some of the features. All right, so as you can see, these are quite robust. They are made of some sort of ABS polymer. Um, there is a cancer-causing warning on here. I think I guess they must be out of California. But in any case, they're very, very strong. I think you could, you, I could stand on this. You could probably drive a car right over it. I will just give you an example here. Jeez, where's all my tools here? All right. Right? That's heavy-duty stuff, right? Nothing. All right, so you can see here, this is a very, very strong, and that's the whole point. I have seen guys throw these around at the airport, obviously, when you board the plane early, like I do. Business class. You often have a window seat for when they're loading the bags onto the plane. And believe me, I've seen guys just toss these things around. No problem. No problem at all. That's the whole point, because what's on the inside is some of the most valuable things that I've ever purchased. Let's check it out. Actually, this one's empty. I don't know, must be in the house. This one here is for my guitar pedals. For uh, I have different uh, boxes for different pedals. This one here is my A-Rig and uh, goes on the stage. And then I have another one in the dressing room and, and, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you can see it's got this nice little organizer section here for keeping your, your uh, guitar strings and your screwdrivers and your cigarettes and all your other essential things that you need for going on the road. Um, it's got this heavy-duty molded foam on the inside, which once the pedals are in there, you know, really protects it well. These hinges are, I mean, you could, you could pull on this thing till the cows come home. These hinges are not going to break. That's got these nice heavy-duty lashes. Really just, it even sounds secure, doesn't it? Listen to it, listen to it one more time. It sounds like safety. The other great thing about these cases is that they have wheels, you know? So this is, this is, check this out. even hear it. I mean, these, these, these wheels are meant to withstand uh, quite a lot. And the other nice thing is it's got this extendable handle. So, you know, when you go through the airport, you're, it's, an, it's like a piece of luggage. It's pretty handy, you know, unless you're in Europe somewhere with those dang cobblestone streets. That can really be a problem. But um, anyhow, there's, uh, there's really just nothing bad to say about these things. I've seen uh, photographers use them, I've seen camera guys use them, I've seen musicians use them, and uh, they're really, really great. Do we need to look at that one? This is the same shit. All right, let's have a look in this one here. This is, uh, as you can see, this one's a little bit of a different shape. Can you take a guess what's in here? Ah. Look at that, it's a Fender product, big surprise. Um, 
So, you know, these just come blank with the foam, and you cut them out to whatever shape you want. And, and uh, my guitar is really snug. It, it fits perfectly in there. It's, it's custom made for that. It's got a little pocket there for your accessories and your whatnots and what have you. And um, so this little black thing here, this is sort of some sort of depressurization uh, valve. Um, I guess when you're at 35,000 feet, you want to make sure your fender product is not uh, under stress. So that's what that does. It, it sort of is an egress for uh, any excess pressure that might build up in the case over time, whether at altitude or below sea level. And these are waterproof, by the way. I did, forgot to mention that. Look, just listen. Wow. It's like a Michelin product there. It's just so smooth, so solid, so comfortable. So, is that it? It's basically it. It's just a box. There's not much to it. All right, should we wrap it up? Let's wrap it up. All right, so I think you've, uh, you've seen quite a few of the features. I think you'll agree this is obviously a robust product, something very, very strong, durable, made to last a lifetime, and uh, really can suit a wide variety of uses. Obviously, because I'm not really a musician anymore, I have, I've started to use them more for getting groceries and uh, just for carrying the kids' Paw Patrol stuff around. And, um, you know, really, they're good for anything. It's just like a big, solid case that you can put anything in and, and really know that it'll be protected and safe when you get to your destination. Now, one drawback I want to share with you guys, for those of you that somehow are managing to uh, continue with air travel, over the years, I've noticed that almost every time I'm walking through the airport with this thing, I get pulled into secondary inspection. It doesn't matter how many passports I have, and believe me, I've got a lot. This looks like a rifle, okay? Every TSA person is going to want to look inside there. And I just find the best way to do it is say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Big smile, open it right up. Eight times out of ten, that there's be a blues dog on the end of there, and he'll want to start talking tone with you. He'll say, "Hey, what do you think of BB guy's uh, polka dot strat?" And, and in my mind, I'm thinking that's a piece of shit. But what do I say to him? I said, "That's a great guitar. Do you have that guitar? Wow, you should get a Pelican case for that guitar, brother." Anyway, so just a word of warning there: if you're in a rush, this isn't the case for you. This is for someone who it's about safety first. It's not about speed. It's about making sure the job gets done, not about getting done quickly. All right? So just something to be aware of uh, if you are thinking about in, in investing in these cases. And the other thing I forgot to mention is these are ridiculously expensive. Prohibitively expensive, I would say, for most people. Frankly, most of you just won't even have a chance to buy them. I want to thank all my uh, usual subscribers. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Pelican cases. And uh, check out some of other episodes, too. There's uh, quite a back catalog building up now. I'm really enjoying making these shows. I'm starting to feature uh, some different um, products as we go further. And I'm going to have some guests on over the next little while. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next time on Tone Tools. <laughs>